Should Dr. Pepper Snapple Group Acquire Buy Brands? By Andre Davis, Amy Henderson, Heather Jones, and Nick Tansitz. As you all are aware, our vision is to be the best beverage provider in America's. With the recent spike in consumer needs for healthy and premium drinks, we view Buy Brand as a great partner to help us execute our strategy of building our brand via their diverse product offering. This acquisition will allow Dr. Pepper Snapple to make an entrance into emerging high growth markets like enhanced waters and antioxidant drinks. With the November election bringing the passage of five more soda taxes in San Francisco, Albany, Oakland, Boulder, and Cook County, all have joined Philadelphia as cities with levies on sugar-sweetened drinks. The carbonated beverage environment has gotten even unfriendlier for soda purveyors like Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, and Dr. Pepper Snapple. Also, Coca-Cola and PepsiCo have announced that they are going to be focused on non-soda drinks in the future. This acquisition is a continuation of Dr. Pepper Snapple's strategy to focus on the growth of the organization and to be the best beverage provider in the Americas. Being the third largest beverage provider in North America behind Coca-Cola and PepsiCo, this will give us the opportunity to focus on closing the gap between the top competitors by offering a variety of healthier, low-calorie, non-cola products. As the sale of carbonated drinks continue to slump, this acquisition allows us to diversify our product offering, which will allow us to capture more market share and to provide more products that meet the demand of our customer base. We have a great history with Bob Brand. Over the past three years, Bob Brand was an ally brand of Dr. Pepper, which allowed them to use our networks for their distribution products. This acquisition will add both scale and growth to the profile of Dr. Pepper Snapple to help meet the demands of the healthy drink sector and to keep pace with our competitors. Buy Brands was created in 2009 in the basement of Ben Wise in Princeton, New Jersey. Mr. Wise had worked in the coffee industry for over 10 years. This experience gave him the knowledge he needed when working to overturn a popular notion that good for you drinks had to taste bland. Ben took a risk on a discarded piece of fruit, which ended up being the key to his future. Ben used the outside fruit of the coffee bean as a key ingredient when creating Buy Brand drinks. This fruit is too tender to go through the coffee processing, so it is normally discarded, while the coffee bean is used in the production of coffee. The fruit then rots, causing mass pollution in countries where coffee beans are harvested. Until recently, the fruit had no known potential, but it is actually full of healthy antioxidants that not only boost your immune system, they also have a wonderful flavor. Ben is now not only cleaning up pollution, but making good for you drinks out of this super secret ingredient. Now that Ben had his super secret ingredient, he still wanted to be able to make low calorie soda alternatives. To do that, he needed a healthy low calorie sweetener. He put his head together with some other members of his team and came up with what by brands calls smart sweetener. This sweetener is an all natural combination of erythritol and steva leaf extract. This combination allows by brands to keep calories at a minimum while having an indulgently rich fruit sweetness. Now the Buy Brands has a winning combination, they can start developing drinks from all over the world with different fruit extracts. From 2010 to 2011, Buy Brands sales soared, raising five times the normal market rate. This simple combination was taking over a newly found market and capturing the hearts of the health craze industry. Due to the popularity of the Buy Drinks, Buy Brands needed a way to mass distribute its products. In 2013, Buy Brands became an allied brand of Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. 
With a bigger distribution plan in place, buy brands started adding to their flavors and stretching their legs with new products. From a small lot of five drinks, buy has expanded into 11 buy flavors. They have also started a new branch called buy bubbles. This branch has the soda fizz without the sugar and chemicals. With these two products, buy brands seem to be setting the example and leading the health drinks industry. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group Inc. is proposing to acquire buy brands for $1.7 billion. This will include a 40 million net present value of a tax benefit. The net of this tax benefit, the value paid for buy brands, represents three times buy brands estimated 2017 net sales. In 2017, buy brands is expecting net sales to be $425 million across all distribution systems and a total income from operations is expected to be approximately $79 million. The median impact of Dr. Pepper is to add approximately $132 million in incremental net sales and $43 million in incremental income from operations to Dr. Pepper Snapple Group Inc. in 2017. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group is expecting a higher brand spend along with a $50 million of incremental interest expense to result in a three cent diluted earnings per share in 2017. The deal will be funded with a combination of unsecured notes and commercial paper. The main motivation behind this proposal of Dr. Pepper Snapple Group purchasing by brands is defensive. Buy Brands is currently an allied brand of Dr. Pepper and is at risk of being purchased by another beverage group. The purchase of Buy Brands is strategic to bring the profit streams and higher growth expectations of Buy Brands into Dr. Pepper Snapple Group's brand portfolio and to protect what they already have. In addition, this purchase will help overcome barriers of entry into the healthier beverage segment. Soda consumption has fallen to a 30-year low as consumers seek beverage alternatives to soda that they deem healthier. As I just mentioned, Bio Brands is currently an ally brand of Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. This proposed acquisition of Bio Brands is an investment opportunity that will add synergy to Dr. Pepper Snapple Group and ultimately increase the value to shareholders. This increase will come in the form of positive net present value cash flow of $1,300 million. Biobrands is having explosive growth and Dr. Pepper Snapple Group will get, be able to take advantage of this. Biobrands has a low enterprise value to EBIT multiplier compared to the industry. The deal has a positive leverage net present value Dr. Pepper Snapple Group will be able to take advantage of the tax shield, and ultimately, the increase in incremental revenue will translate into higher share prices and larger dividends. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group has already lost ally brands of Rockstar, Monster, Vitamin Water, and Fuse. The purchase of Bio Brands will increase long-term value for shareholders, rather than watch that value get transferred to, the, to their competitors. A benefit of this proposed acquisition is the estimated net present value of cash flow that buy brings to Dr. Pepper is $1,300 million. This also inc includes the increases in expenses of advertising and interest expense. Being a large positive number means the cash flow is greater than the purchase price of $1.7 billion. The positive cash flow is primarily due to buy a brand's explosive growth and revenue. When comparing years 2015 to 2016, Bio Brands revenue increased by 83%, and we expect the revenue to keep increasing. A benefit to shareholders is Buy Brands has an estimated enterprise value EBIT multiple of 13.82, 
which is lower than the beverage industry multiple of 19.61, indicating buy brands is undervalued and it is a good option for an acquisition. Buy brands enterprise value is estimated to be at $1,092 million. This number estimates buy brands debt at $30 million and equity at $1 million. The deal to purchase buy brands will be comprised of $1,500 million of short-term debt and $150 million of cash. The levered net present value of cash flow was calculated and is a positive value of $27.9 million. The leveraged net present value uses the estimated net present value of buy brands cash flow of $1,300 million. The leveraged net present value used Dr. Pepper's estimated weighted average cost to capital, which turned out to be 3.2%. Dr. Pepper's WAC was comprised of the cost of equity at 4.66%, the cost of debt for Dr. Pepper at 2.81%, and the effective tax rate at 33.8%. The positive leverage net present value means for Dr. Pepper shareholders that there's cash available after the purchase of buy brands to meet its financial obligations and has cash flow available for shareholders. The advantage to Dr. Pepper shareholders structuring the deal with 91% of debt is the tax shield the debt provides. The tax shield benefit of $400 million net present value takes the net present value of the cash flow of $1,300 million and adjusts that value to take into account goodwill mentioned earlier, but also adjusts for net present value of interest that will create a tax advantage structuring the deal with debt. This slide shows Bias Brands estimated revenue break even payback period, which is 3.8 years. This was calculated using the purchase price of $1.7 billion and the net present value of cash flow of $1,300 million. The proposed acquisition will add synergy to Dr. Pepper Snapple Group by adding incremental revenue. The deal will leave cash for shareholders after the purchase with the deal structured with debt and ultimately protect what is Dr. Pepper's, an allied brand. In addition, buy a brand is a good acquisition target because the low enterprise value EBIT multiple, which indicates that buy a brand is undervalued. Ultimately, all these factors lead to stock growth for Dr. Pepper Snapple Group shareholders. Dr. Pepper's dividend growth rate is 9.4%. The shareholders required rate of return is 10.0%. And if all things stay constant, the stock price is estimated to increase to $124 from the current value of $87.09. And dividends are expected to increase to $0.83 cents from $0.58. Cents. The estimate increases are calculated to happen in four years. The stock price and increase in dividends may even be higher because the payback period of the investment in buy brands is calculated to be completed in 3.8 years versus four years. In conclusion, our acquisition of Buy Brands is a good one, which will be beneficial for the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. First, it helps protect our market share of the beverage industry by capitalizing on the trend of, quote, good for you drinks and decline of soda sales. Second, it helps us follow through on our vision of being the best beverage provider in the Americas. We are currently the third largest beverage provider in the U.S., and the acquisition of Buy Brands could close the gap behind Coca-Cola and PepsiCo. Third, it makes financial sense. Forecasts show stock prices and dividends will rise for the shareholders, and Buy Brands has grown an unprecedented amount in the previous years with no indication of stopping. Thank you for the great semester. We look forward to applying what we have learned to our careers, and we wish you all the best. Thank you.